how to improve deliverability and stay out of the spam box. People believe that getting into people's inboxes is pure magic. It's not. It's a science, and when done right, it significantly improves your email performance, your open rates, your click-through rates, and most importantly, your email revenue. All it takes is the right strategy and a little bit of finesse. I'm Nikita, and I run an email agency. My team and I help brands with their deliverability every single day. Let's dive into the video. First, we need to make sure that we have all of our DNS records set up correctly, including our dedicated sending domain and our DMARC. And if you haven't set that up after the video, watch the tutorial up here somewhere. Now, improving deliverability comes down to three key steps, tracking performance, segmenting our audience, and creating a strategy. Lucky for you, I'm gonna be covering all of those in detail so we know exactly what to do. For starters, we need to track our email deliverability. And when we bring up tracking, most people think that it's voodoo and that it's not possible well those people are wrong and there is a way trust me bro and we utilize a free tool that google provides to track our email performance which i personally find hilarious it's like you're put in google inbox jail and they're like yeah you can leave whatever you want and here's the map to the exit as well anyways i'm getting off topic but we'll need to install google postmaster so let's go ahead and do that go to postmaster.google.com and you'll be prompted with this screen you want to go to the plus button enter the domain that you're going to be sending emails through so i'm just testing out our agency email go to next and here you need to verify that you own that domain Pull up the DNS settings for where your domain is being hosted. And there we'll just paste in this text record. So for me, it's SiteGround and we're going to add a text record. I'm going to leave this blank. I'm going to leave this as is. And I'm just going to insert this Google verification tag. I'm going to create it. We're going to wait a couple minutes to make sure that all of this is propagated correctly. And then we're going to verify that this domain belongs to us. And there we go. We are verified. Now we can take a look at our email statistics. When you get into here, sometimes there's no data to display, but if you expand your window to like last 90 days, you can see the spam rate of your emails. You can also see the IP reputation. You can also see your domain reputation. There's bad, which you don't want to be at, low, medium, and high. For us, we've been high this whole time. I, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm pretty bad. <laughs> For us, our domain reputation has been really high, so we don't really have a problem. <laughs> uh, we can also see the feedback loop of when we send out emails and how that's negatively impacting our domain. We can also see if our authentication is set up. So you can see that I've implemented DMARC halfway through the month of January and February and making sure that everything else is working with encryption and if there's any delivery errors. Now that we have that set up, we can clearly track our email performance and the better our domain reputation is, the better our emails will perform. Now let's start segmenting. And if you haven't seen my segments video yet, what are you doing? Go watch it, but only after the video. I need that watch time for the algorithm. To create a segment is very easy. Just go to your Klaviyo account, go to list and segments and go to create new, create a segment. Now that we're here, we're gonna need to segment our audience into two buckets people that we're sending to and people that we're excluding for the people that we're sending to we'll need to create six different segments and here are the rules that we're going to be using we're going to be creating a segment for the in the last 15 days engaged last 30 days engaged last 60 days engaged last 90 days engaged last 120 days engaged and the master list. Now for the people that we're excluding we're going to need to create six segments as well. Here's the definition for those mark the spam bounce two times no recent engagement, low engagement, never open, never clicked, and the suppress list. The people we exclude will harm your domain reputation. They will not open or engage with your emails, hurting your domain reputation. And this is where the rubber meets the road, the strategy part, or as I like to call it, L plan. For the strategy, we'll need a couple things. First, we need to get six different campaigns that are proven to be highly engaging. And if it's your first time sending, just send out a Joe Rogan clip with subway surfers at the bottom. Don't actually do that. Do not. Don't do that. These emails could be information about your niche, educational content, text-only emails, anything that you've seen perform very well in the past will do. And once you've set up your emails, it's time to create your campaign schedule. And trust me, it's not going to be as complicated as you think. We're going to send out an email once or twice a week, three to seven days apart, depending on your sending schedule, with the first email send going to our engaged 15-day list. And we want to make sure that our suppressed segments are excluded from these campaigns. And this is crucial because this is the make it or break it. Again, when you send out to the wrong contact, that's when you start to see a deliverability drop. And as we send out each campaign, we're going to increase that engage list. So we start off with 15 and then the next send, we're gonna do 30, after that 60 and then 90 
120, and lastly, once we've sent through all of those segments with the subsequent campaign we're going to send to the master list. And while we're sending these emails, we need to monitor our Google Postmaster, and we should see a trend line going up on the domain reputation side, going from bad to low to medium, and to eventually high. And if you're bouncing between medium and high, don't worry, that's completely normal. And as long as you're above medium, you're good. One other thing to keep in mind is we need to constantly check our open rates. For example, if we're at the 60 day engage send and we sent it out and the open rates didn't improve, they were below 40 to 50%, we should keep sending to that 60 day engaged audience until our benchmarks improve. Then we can go up to 90, 120 and so on. So your open rates are that benchmark. Now after four to six weeks of doing that campaign sending schedule, we should be seeing a deliverability improvement overall. Better open rates, better click through rates and best of all, better revenue rates. After you've gone through the deliverability improvement suppress those excluded lists and clear them out of your account. Just make sure to double check that you're not deleting the wrong people. And in the end, you can reduce your Klaviyo bill and save yourself some cheddar. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.